Yay, I love rain. <coughs> oh gosh, now I just... <coughs> um, I forgot the word again. I looked it up a while ago. <coughs> I nearly uh, choked, got choked myself. I nearly choked myself on my own spit. Wow. <laughs> because I... What did I do? Did I say something or not? I don't know. I did something before I coughed and then I took in... I took a breath too quickly and too sharply and I was like, oh, there's this bit. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's... Yeah, great topic. I love rain still. Um, yeah. I still trust Benjamin more than Mr. Voice, which is weird and maybe a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. But yeah. It's cool. Ooh, oh this looks also weird and like... Okay. I just looked at her like feet, how the animation... Okay, that sound changed quickly. Okay. Um, like how the animation changed. I just looked at that, that's why I went here over a thousand times. <laughs> Okay, it looks so weird, like the the the, the stick figure stores. Oh wait, are those letters? Are those runes? I don't know. But yeah, they fit Benjamin and also the red color, but hmm. Oh maybe Mr. Voice also can't get inside. Hmm. Oh, it looks like Benjamin's good at cutting wood. <laughs> he must be so muscular. That <laughs> <laughs> was fortunate, oh gosh. Is there anything? We can't talk through the window? Okay. Ooh. Be brave, Miss Fortune. Goosebumps. Okay, I will look around. Maybe I can find my eternal happiness. If Benjamin has it, I ask him to share that prize with us and everything will be fine. Is there hay on the ground from from the Also is that a protection thing? Yeah, I think so. I don't think Mr. Voice can get inside or anything or anyone really. Oh and that's why we couldn't look through the window. Ah. Oh my gosh, there's a video game. He has a console. <laughs> right? There's a console, right? Yeah. <laughs> and the the head stylish. Blue fits. <laughs> Benjamin's. He got some sweet style. I like it. Mm -hmm. No, okay. But there's uh, hay, right? Is that hay? Or oh, weed? I don't know. Whoa, a video player. Fun <laughs> Can we play a video game now? In woods. PB. P. Benjamin? Let's see. Benjamin's on TV? <laughs> Is that the monster? Damn it, I broke Benjamin's tape. Oh. But who? Did he film? Maybe I can fix it. <laughs> Happiness to the video player! <laughs> Weird. Ah, what a cozy couch. Is that Benjamin's diary? I am curious, but... I won't spy on Benjamin's personal stuff. Maybe in a different uh, take, in a different playthrough. Death after life. Hey, that makes sense. This is so weird. Learning how to be grey. Communication. Key to cooperation. The upside of being a spirit animal. Oh, oh he's a spirit animal. The fun of stories of a boring man. <laughs> what the fun stories of a boring man? Okay. What does it say? When hatred wants to be loved. Oh, that eye reminds me of Rambo. The meaning of love. 
Any references up there now? NM Natalia Martinson. Oh Is she too late writing a book? No. <laughs> what does it say that M music uh <laughs> M U What? M as Mick. <laughs> as Mick. <laughs> M okay. Wait, what are those holes? Oh no, it's ah it's ink. I was like holes, huh? Okay. Um in case you hear my voice differently, it's because I move closer to the screen and try to to the display and try to read it, read stuff. Not because I'm super short sighted, but but because I don't know. That some things are truly harder to see from a distance. And not because I'm short sighted. I am but not that much. <laughs> I'm I'm not that far away from the screen. But yeah. The upside of being a spirit. It looks like Benjamin likes to educate himself. I like that in a fox. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. And also learning how to be grey. Is he just reading that stuff? Is he really a spirit animal? And is he old? Let's <laughs> watch it. Okay. It's a fox. He's a fox. Why am I? Oh, <laughs> Miss Watcher, no. <laughs> but it's a weird world. Okay. <gasps> oh. It's so nice. That sounds so cool. It'd be fun if I got the phone call now, like being singing it and like, oh, I got a call. Hello. <laughs> also saying hello to a German person. Wow. <laughs> I'm hearing with stuff, wait a second. Oh, my mom is talking in the hallway, that's why it's so weird to, like, only ever so slightly hear voices. I don't know if they can hear me, but well. <laughs> in my, I mean, my room is like the last room of the flat of the apartment, so I'm just far in the back. And there's basically no one. Only I ever go back there. <laughs> oh, the song's over. So no one hears me when I'm recording. But here, I'm like in the main area of the of the apartment of that. I forgot which one is the British and which the American. Word, oh gosh. <laughs> there you go. Sorry. Okay. Let's continue. So much talking this episode. I don't know if it's one episode, but still. Can't look at that, no. Mmm, that tea smells like roses and lemon. Mm. I bet it's called Benjamin's <laughs> Land. Because I can almost smell his boss blending the ingredients. Maybe I should try it out. <laughs> nah. I, I knew this was come. I, I, I mean, I didn't know, no, but I thought like it was. Yeah, we will definitely get that question. <laughs> nah, I wonder what it would do. Hmm. Mr. Voice said that I shouldn't trust a fox. I'm not doing it because it's his, and it's like yeah, first off, it's weird. Second, who knows what effect it would have on us. And now I think it would have a good one. Like a good one. Something Mr. Watch wouldn't like. Mm. Look at that. Benjamin looks so pretty in that hat. Benjamin! Gosh, I got scared. I'm really sorry I broke your video player. But you stole the eternal happiness. It was promised to me if I beat the game. I really want it back. We can totally share it if you want. No. Are you afraid of the thunder, Benjamin? Don't worry. You can hold my hand if you want to. Oh, what are you? Is this a kiss? Is this really happening? What is that? Is that your diary? Ooh. You want me to read it? 
Is that <gasps> what you're afraid of? I think I saw him too. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's cool that she, she wasn't like, I already read it. <laughs> oh, feeling no stomach ache, ache is only gas. <laughs> I'll go. Oh gosh, I go help missing victims in town. Margo know I'm here. Margo play old trick. Trick many times now. But it make mistake. One victim can hear its voice inside her head. Victim called misfortune. It's nice court. Margo can't have her say boss. She must be rescued. But I follow steps. I saw Morgo take shape. Scary. Oh, I go help missing victims in town. Oh. You could misunderstand this as well. I go help missing victims in town. But I don't think it. Yeah. I think it's the positive meaning. <laughs> but he can, he can write nicely here. <laughs> The little paw. <laughs> you can't hide the children. Oh, gosh. Um. <gasps> what? Oh gosh, I nearly made. Okay. Yep. Uh, follow Benjamin. Oh gosh, Mr. Voices. No, it's Mr. Voice Morgo. I've been wondering that. This is weird. Yeah, I nearly made that choice, and it's a good one. Hey. Rescuing me, Benjamin. Because I wanted like to run. Like if I was a girl in trouble. I can't look at anything, right? Nope. Okay. Oh. This sounds so scary. Benjamin, where do you go? Does he shed his fur or do foxes sh shed their fur? Yes, so. Because they also go through winter and summer? I don't know. Um, I think my gut feeling was right though. Oh no, is this Benjamin? Um. There's a hole behind the painting. Hello? Oh, this looks nice. I can't reach it. I'm a little lady, you know. <laughs> oh, I think I know what happens now. What, what do I? I think I thought. A stool. Uh-huh. Such a clever little lady. Oh, that looks so cute. La la. <laughs> <laughs> Time to use my ninja skills. <laughs> Shh, what a bad crack. Be quiet. This is a ninja mission. <laughs> Benjamin, are you here? That is not a little lady, like. Little lady. <laughs> you know, I saw those things hanging down before, but. And I still said, I think my gut feeling was right. But he sounded so scary, so... Maybe it was only towards him, but... Yeah, those are just, I don't know, why tools. <laughs> so it was Benjamin placing these. But Benjamin seems so nice. Maybe he put them for that monster. Hmm, yeah, maybe. Or maybe he took them away from the monster. I don't know. What fish or fish balls? Fish? Please, that's right. We will see. Hmm, kind of fish balls? This is like sushi balls. A fire extinguisher, okay. Hmm. A picture of a key. Interesting. My ninja senses are telling me mm -hmm. to climb up on this chair. Hmm. 
Hmm. I just said I saw it, but I forgot it. Hmm. A real ninja lady always touches <laughs> everything. <laughs> A secret button. I, want to look I at decide the door first. not to push the button. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Nothing. <laughs> I think that's to tell us you have to push it anyway. <laughs> okay. Huh, it's locked. I thought that would happen, but still. <laughs> I found those tea pots, cans, coffee cans. I don't know, they, they look cute. This is, the design is so, so classic and cute. <laughs> Alright then, I push the button. That was easy. <laughs> okay, weird way for a door like this too, oh, but okay. Hmm. Doesn't let any bigger people in because they can't go through with it. Uh, that's, that's maybe protection. And I think that looks like where Benjamin came from at the beginning. Hmm. Alright. Time to find Bangy. Oh. Oh, that was unfortunate. I hope things oh. get done when I got the eternal happiness. It's really okay, clumsy. Okay, Miss Fortune. Let's finish this. I wonder how they recorded it, like... Okay, let's watch it. <laughs> Get up, Miss Fortune. Yeah, It's hard to press buttons so quickly you with some stronger fingers. stronger than you think. I have to use my right hand. That's what works much better for something like this. <laughs> You've been knocked down before. Did you let that stop you? It's cute. <laughs> Get up, Miss Fortune. You can do it. That's a really cool part. Because... You're a little lady. <laughs> because... You are the little lady, Miss Fortune. <laughs> No. I'm scared. <sighs> okay, I'm out again. Anyone here? Bungie? Mr. Voice? I guess I'm alone. Oh, I saw I saw a post today petting a baby dear dear come a dream come true. Uh -huh. I mean in real life, it's not good, but like to pet, to really pet babies and touch them. But baby deers, but fawns. Oh, a baby deer, so sweet. Oh. Dream come true. I'm petting the baby deer. <laughs> oh, nothing happened. <laughs> it is so far. Oh, but oh my gosh, I have to stretch. <sighs> Ouch. Oh god, I hurt my jaw again. <laughs> like, I didn't really hurt it, but I think I'm stretching and yawning at the same time really sometimes isn't a good idea because I've done that twice lately now. And first it was the right side of my jaw, now it's the left side. I, I think I hooked it out too far. Like, uh... Oh gosh, it feels weird. And I think it's not too bad because of the headphones, weirdly. I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe it's just a coincidence. I have to stretch still. <laughs> That's not too bad now. Um, what did I want to say? Baby phone. Oh yes, right. I got to pet so many sweet doggos yesterday. We couldn't adopt any of them because we didn't even get the petals, but uh, some 
we did, which we didn't pet. Our problem dogs, so too anxious, shy, etc. Not fit for first time dog owners. And the others would get too big, they wouldn't. It also wouldn't have worked out. Nah. Um, because they went potty trained and all. And we want to have a dog, adopt a dog that is at least nearly potty trained. Because, uh, yeah. I don't know. I would do it if I were alone in the flat. I would adopt a dog who's not potty trained, but I don't know. My family isn't too much on track with that. And they're a bit like, mm, maybe that's too much. So yeah. We learned a lot yesterday. Shared that on Instagram. You can't check it out anymore now because uh, only for 24 hours stories. Maybe I will make a dog highlight, like a stories highlight with all the dog stuff. And maybe you can read it there, but I don't know. Um, yeah. But they were so sweet, they would have just gotten far too big. They were so beautiful, it was so nice to pet them after like, I think it was eight, seven, over half a year ago, half a year ago, that I last pet a doggo. It was so good, and I loved them so much. And although I doubted my life choices and everything yesterday, thank you, Paradoxa Cherry, damn it. In case I said your name wrong, <laughs> I hope it was right. But oh gosh, it would be embarrassing, but still. I'm, I'm trying my best. I'm sometimes not too good with names. I think I already said that, said that somewhere, but yeah. Thank you so much for your comments. They really, really helped. They truly helped. And I answered that, so yeah. Um, thank you for your support, by the way. Thank you for watching. I'm talking so much in this session, but yeah. What time is it? Nearly 5 p.m. And I still have to translate videos. I said I would do them today, but I don't think th th I don't think they are like because I I, I used to up the, uh, I used to translate the videos so quickly. I think they're okay if it isn't that quick. And uh, now because they know Ben and Maya for which for whom I have for who I have to translate the videos. Um, yeah, they know I'm in the process of adopting a dog. I'm searching for a dog, so there's a lot going on. And it's hard to plan stuff, and yeah. Um, where was I? With, oh gosh, cute, cute doggers. Yeah, although I uh, doubted my life choices and everything again, and whether I would ever be able to have a dog, because I don't know, maybe my anxiety will get too bad if I, if I'm really about to say yes. I want to adopt this dog and everything is alright, they fit our description, she, by now, because my sister doesn't want a male dog, and that's why we only have to get, why we can only look for she's now, <laughs> yeah, um, oh, I'm talking so much, let's put the gear again, <laughs> um, oh. and yeah, although, Again, for the third time, although I adopted myself and life choices and whether I will be able to have a dog and blah, because maybe I would be like, oh, I can't do this. Okay, I would say this now, because I, I spoke about this in the Minecraft streams anyways. Um, a vegan diet is possible and can be very healthy and for a dog, uh, because they are omnivores. Educate yourself. Don't just try to argue against me because I know my facts and they are right and there, there are many veterinarians that, yeah, who agree and there's a lot of vegan dog food that's tested by vets and so on and approved and blah and tested. There are many vegan dogs and the dog who got the second oldest ever was vegan. Yeah. So it is possible and it can be perfectly healthy and because I'm not such a hypocrite to <laughs> To kill other animals for one animal when it's not necessary, I won't feed my dog a non vegan diet. So, but at the beginning, you have to transition their food. Why am I talking about this now? Wow, we got far again, but yeah. You have to make a transition. You can't just straight up feed them another kind of food. So, I unfortunately, at the beginning, for a few weeks, I think, have to feed the dog other animals. I have to kill, I have blood on my hands for that. But yeah, it's because otherwise I justify that or I'm capable of doing that because 
the dog would get never would never get fed a vegan diet. So only through me there's less harm. And I have to do a bit harm for that. I mean, you could also just let dogs die, but that would never happen. And it's about making, uh, uh, making, having less of them, so they are less strays and less who have to be killed, and not about just killing them all. Nope. Also, not the same for humans. Nope. That's counterproductive. That's not good. Um, also, not empathic. And it also, wow, uh, vegans who think it's okay to kill animals, like also humans. Humans are animals too. Because that would be better for other animals. That's stupid, because that's also ironically... Ironically? No, it's not ironic. That wouldn't be vegan. Yeah. It's about doing it like the least harm, I think. Yeah. Looking at the victim. So... Yeah, I think I create the least harm... By doing a bit harm... For those few weeks. And then have a vegan dog. Then I have a, if I have a happy... I have a happy dog. And I put one dog off the list, which will get fed a non-vegan diet. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's walk a lot again. Um, yeah. And sometimes it's, it's just when I have my doubtful moments, I get really anxious about that topic. And be like, what if they... Oops, sorry. <clears throat> Because most organizations do like a checkup after some time, like after a few months, after three weeks, after a half a year, I don't know, it's different for every organization, but they do a checkup. What if they take away the dog when they see that we feed them a vegan diet? I mean, I could show them probably the blood test that everything is okay, that we are in talks with the vet, that we check everything up with the vet. And they are also, they are also, um, Nutrition, nutritionists for dogs who say a vegan diet is okay. They write in their profiles and online we also advise people on vegetarian and vegan diets and they are dogs with allergies who have to be vegan. So it's perfectly possible. Stop doubting it myself here. <laughs> I don't doubt it. I shouldn't. I just get anxious and nervous and blah. Because sometimes I do that. Because no one is picking me up up around here, so I have to keep it all up in my mind and uh, trust my research. Yeah, that's sometimes hard, but yeah, I have to trust myself more, as always. Yeah, and my gut feeling. So yeah, despite all that, all those doubts, I'm feeling right now, and what I should have cl more clearly remembered yesterday, I love dogs so freaking much, and I want to give another being a good life. I want to give them a home. I want to rescue them. I want to adopt them. I, yeah, I want to give them as much life and uh, as much life, as much love as possible. Yeah. And I think that's all I need. That's all I need to remember. Everything else. There will be problems. There will be like, there's no relationship between no animal ever that's without problems or just hardships or whatever. It will be there. It will always be there. And yes, you can be nervous about that, but it shouldn't make you too anxious to not make that decision. And now we move on. I love doggos, and petting sweet animals is awesome, <laughs> because it also makes them happy. Like, if you pet an animal that likes that, which like that, likes that, yeah. Who likes that, yeah. Okay. And now back to anxiety about monsters. Um, what's that? 